नेशनल रूरल हेल्थ मिशन healthy citizens are the key to the development of a nation india is one of the largest economies in the world in terms of gross national income but when it comes to healthcare a lot needs to be done our country provides excellent medical treatment to people all around the world but despite this medical sector in rural areas is facing many challenges including shortage of hospitals and doctors lack of health facilities infrastructure medicines skilled and trained nursing staff and other facilities in government hospitals etc with this in mind the rural health mission was started by the government of india with the help of which the rural areas of the country are becoming self sufficient in the field of healthcare and medicine objective of national rural health mission the main objective of national rural health mission is to provide primary health services to rural population including women and children today under this mission health infrastructure in rural areas has seen many improvements such as the following decrease maternal and infant mortality reduction in cases of diseases like malaria and dengue increasing awareness amongst about various infectious and non communicable diseases helping in control of incidence of infectious and non communicable diseases health services are more accessible to rural population including women and children medical services are accessible to deprived sections of society promotion of healthy lifestyle a trained female community health worker has also been appointed in each village under the national rural health mission people generally address these workers as asha workers in fact asha workers are selected from the village itself thus enhancing their sense of responsibility this scheme has provided invaluable support to the country's rural areas even in the difficult times of the corona pandemic asha workers have a good understanding of the problems of their village such as who lives where who is sick at which place nearby hospitals etc under the national rural health mission asha workers have become the link between the village and the auxiliary nurse midwives the indra dhanush scheme under the national rural health mission has also given impetus to the vaccination program in india under this scheme the vaccine is being given to all children and pregnant women at a fast pace children up to 2 years of age and pregnant women of rural areas often do not get proper treatment but their timely vaccination is being ensured under this scheme according to the data received earlier the increase in full immunization coverage was 1% per annum whereas in the first two phases of mission indra dhanush it has already increased to 6.7% per annum at the same time a child health program is also being run under the national health mission due to the various nutritional deficiencies many children of our country suffer from multiple diseases even before they start going to school and most children are found to have conditions related to development barriers if these diseases are not controlled on time they can also result in permanent disability some conditions in children are considered very common by people in rural areas and are not taken seriously 
such as infections related to teeth, eyes, diarrhea, and respiratory functions. However, experts say that even these diseases should not be ignored. As part of the National Child Health Program, all the examination and treatment services are also being provided to children. Under this scheme, newborn babies are being provided examinations in public health centers, while children from newborn to six weeks old are getting facilities for testing at home by ASHA workers. Children aged six weeks to six years are screened at the Anganwadi center by dedicated mobile health teams. Similarly, children above six years of age are getting the facility of examination in government hospitals by dedicated mobile health teams.